Dinosaur Train by John Stephen Gurney. Thursday was a day much like any other for Jessie. Trains and dinosaurs, dinosaurs and trains. Just before bed, Jessie drew one last picture. Suddenly, there was a loud noise and the whole house began to shake. All aboard, someone shouted. Please have your tickets ready. Thank you, said the conductor. Dining car to the rear. Let me show you the view from the sky windows. Tunnel ahead, Jesse yelled. Duck! When they came out of the tunnel, Jesse said, Look! That's amazing! Everyone leaned over to see. Uh-oh! Jessie took charge. Come on, you can do it. Push it back on the track. Thanks, son. You can ride up here with me. Next stop, Jessie's room. No David by David Shannon David's mom always said No David No David No, David, no! No, no, no! Come back here, David! David, be quiet! Don't play with your food. That's enough, David. Go to your room. Settle down. Stop that this instant. Put your toys away. Not in the house, David. I said no, David. Davy, come here. Yes, David, I love you. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl.
One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, was the locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower? The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time... He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes Story by Eric Litwin, Art by James Dean Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? 
blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness no, he kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Catrell. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all, it all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird, so what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside, and so, No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts, or with a silly snout that snorts. Or knobby knees or hippo hips, or purple polka-dotted lips. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. 
I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly, designed and illustrated by Fiona Hayes. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wriggled and wiggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Fancy that to swallow a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a goat. Just opened her throat and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. She burst, of course. If you liked this video, please subscribe.